Hey everyone, what's up? Sam Pro Pro here. All right, and welcome to the How to Let's Play. First, I would like to start off by saying you're going to need two things. One would be an image editor, and one would be a video editor. For an image editor, I recommend the GIMP because it's free and it's extremely powerful. And for a video editor, I recommend Camtasia Studio 8. After you got the software, go to Google Images and search for a PNG file of the main character of the video game that you're going to be let's playing. Make sure that the background is transparent. You can tell if it's transparent if the background is checkered and not white. Now go ahead and save the image in a familiar location. You also want to search for a wallpaper and the PNG files of other characters from the game. Next we're going to import the files that we downloaded into Camtasia Studio 8. Click and drag the wallpaper down into the timeline. Here you want to select 1280x720. Drag the image so that it's at the beginning of the timeline, and then expand it to about 10 seconds. This slider can better help you manage the time by zooming in and out. Next we're going to head on over to the visual properties. And we're going to set the scale to 200. And then we're going to drag the image all the way to the right. Now, play around with some of these rotation values. Also, you want to make absolutely sure that there are no black borders. This can be prevented by simply moving the image. Next, make the time bar equal to the end of the clip. Then you want to go up here and click on Add Animation. And drag the left edge all the way to the beginning of the clip. Right click and select Edit Animation. And now we're going to make some different values. In this case, I chose to select 0 for everything. You also want to invert any values that you changed in the position. Now go to the very beginning of your video and click play to see how it all goes. Now you want to add one of the PNG files that you downloaded into the timeline. You can use the scale method to make sure that the character is the right size. If the character is facing the wrong way, you can easily change that by making the Y rotation negative 180. Next we're going to drag the other character down into the timeline as well. Now move forward a little bit in the timeline, select the character we just added, and click on Add Animation. Do the same thing with the other character. Now go to the beginning of the timeline, and at the beginning, we're going to change the rotation values just a little bit. If you had to invert the character, you want to make the value about 225, which is 180 plus 45. For the other character, you want to make the value negative 45. At the beginning of the timeline, make both of their alpha channels completely zero. Now go to the beginning and click play. Now we're going to add some text. Now you want to scale the text to make sure it fits in one line. Now let's play it back and see how it looks. If you notice, while the text is centered, it doesn't really quite fit that well because of the character placements. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little animation to make the text move. Before that, let's set the fade in and fade out to zero and expand the text to the same length as the other clips. Similar to the first time we did the animations, add an animation towards the beginning of the clip. Now just adjust the X position. Now play it back and see how it looks. Next we're going to make it fade in. 
by going to the beginning of the video and making the opacity zero. Let's make that a little more interesting, shall we? In the beginning of the video, give it a small rotation. You can also adjust the text animation to make it end slightly faster than the characters. Next, we're going to add closing animations. Go to the end of the video and select Add Animation. Now that you got the basic hang of it, I'll let you do your own closing animation. Once you're done, play it through and see how it looks. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode which teaches you how to record your game. Also, if you want, share the intros that you guys created using video responses. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.